Welcome to Episode 7 of Rookie Designer Video Tips. My name is Jake Van Ness. In today's episode, we're going to work with InDesign, and specifically, measurement units and rulers. So let's get started. First thing I want to show you is how you would bring up your rulers. To do that, you would hit Ctrl-R on a PC or Command-R on a Mac. So as you can see, that brings up our measurement units on the top and left side. If you wanted to change these, because right now they're in PICAS, you could change them by right-clicking and change them to PICAS, inches, millimeters, centimeters, stuff like that. You can even set a custom where if you wanted a certain amount of space between each line, say like 12 points or 14 points, you could do that. But for this episode, I'm actually just going to change it to inches. So as you can see, it changed the top so that it, the, basically the width of your sheet is 8.5 inches. But you'll notice on the vertical, it doesn't change it. So you need to change that as well. Again, right-click or command-click on a Mac and change it to inches. So now, as you can see, we have inches on the left and the top, or horizontal and vertical measurements. If you wanted to set this as the default to always be that when a document's open, you can do that. So let's close this one. And the way to do that is without any document open, you go into your preferences, which are under Edit, Preferences, and then you want Units and Increments. And as you can see, right now the default is set to Points. So I want to change that to inches for the horizontal and for the vertical. There are several other settings you can change in here, like how much space a cursor click does or what the default kerning is. But we're not going to worry about that for now. We just want to change the ruler units to inches for the horizontal and vertical settings. So hit OK. So now if I hit Control N for a new document or Command N on a Mac, you'll see that the width and height are now in inches. You hit OK. And as you can see, the ruler is also in inches. If for any reason you wanted to hide this ruler, you could just hit Control R. And as you can see, it goes away. There's one other thing with the ruler that I thought I'd show you. And that's how you can change the 0, 0 coordinate. As you can see right now, it's at the top left corner of your document. But say I wanted to change that to the top left corner of this magenta square. To do that, all you have to do is click and drag from this top corner, and you'll get these little crosshairs, and drop it on the top of that box. And now, as you can see, the top corner of the magenta box is the 0, 0 coordinate, rather than the top of the sheet. Now, say you wanted to switch that back to the top corner of the sheet, all you have to do, instead of dragging it there again, is double-click on the top left area. And as you can see, it switched it back. So there you have it. There's a couple tips on the measurement units and the rulers. If you have anything that you'd like me to do a tip on, please contact me at jake at rookiedesigner.com. And don't forget to find us on Facebook at Rookie Designer and also on Twitter at Rookie Designer. And we also have a podcast that you can find at rookiedesigner.com. Thanks, and see you next time.